Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies, gentlemen, and those who are neither wherever you are in the world. I'm Ramblin' Rusty Elm, and you're watching Ramblin' with Rusty, Starfield Edition. Last time on Ramblin' with Rusty, we returned to Aquila City with intel we gathered from our confrontation with Marco, spoke with the Marshal and Senior Ranger Emma Wilcox, then learned that the first was holed up at an old mech factory, or at least possibly held up at an old mech factory, on Arcturus 2. Before coming here, we took a few side trips to uh, find a little bit better armament. But now we are here, outside that mech factory, and we have learned, in fact, that they are here. So, this episode, we're going to go through the mech factory and see how things go. Without further ado, let's get it on. This is my favorite part. Everything's blurry. Got hit in the head. This feels like old times. So long. Oh, the glory of the first. Right. 
right, we've finished looking around, grab the loot. Time to move on to the next section. I'm a man of action. I've got no use for lies. So when I tell you that you're being manipulated, you know I'm telling the truth. You think the Council of Governors really cares about anything but themselves? They're greedy and corrupt. You're a tool in the hands of the unworthy, just like I once was. I was loyal. I followed orders, and I led good men and women to their deaths. I'll carry the stain of that dishonor to my grave. Yeah, I'm not doing it for the council. Damn it, Sam. Yeah. You're dead! You hear Jeez, me? Bethesda, teach these people some goddamn basic gun safety, will you? Today's not going to be your day, pal. I'm going to end you!
Got blood in my eyes. Son of a bitch. Look out! You've got no idea! Time to tango. Say good night. Me and my friend here are gonna teach you manners. Never wise to be in my way. You've got no chance. you. Shit, damn it! Should have given up. I hate hide and seek. Time to tango. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We've had a good loot from everything that we've uh, gotten through so far. Had to take a side trip back to the ship to drop all that stuff off. So now we will move forward. Spot. 
First Cavalry was the greatest fighting force the Freestar Collective has ever seen. At the Battle of Nera, the First Cavalry was destroyed. Why? Because the generals got scared and asked for a truce. I've got no sympathy for cowards, or for the people who put them in power. I've also got no sympathy for those who do their bidding. And this means you. Back to the ship. Time to open up. Sometimes I feel sorry for them. Well, sometimes. Well, they don't need it. Yeah, it would have been a little quicker if you hadn't been able to run them. We're the best there is! <laughs> Damn you, Sam. Your time's coming up. Gonna make you suffer first. Mess with me and my friend. Ah. This is my favorite part. You're dead, you hear me? Got blood in my eyes. Pumping, huh? This feels like old times. Oh, 
never mess with a co. Never mess with a co. <laughs> Nothing gets by me. I really do prefer that scope over this one, but sometimes you just gotta make do. I'm gonna try and sneak off over here. Did I just? More than that, time to tango.
Yeah, you shouldn't have. Actually, you really should have, thanks. My friend here gonna teach you math. <laughs> favorite part. Afraid your time's coming up. Another day, another kill! Time to tango. Never mess with a co. <laughs> Waste not, need not. Jeez, I thought we had all these people. I can't believe it. 
You just took on some of the best mercenaries in the Freestar Collective and cut right through them. <clears throat> if we'd have had more like you in the war, we could have planted our flag in New Atlantis. Not the way it should have. Of course, I can't expect you to understand what we sacrificed, what we lost. You don't know what it's like to look around and see the faces of warriors who trusted you to lead them as they die screaming. I watched brave men and women torn limb from limb by monsters. I saw mech pilots cooked alive in their cockpits as their machines burned. <clears throat> Those deaths didn't have to be meaningless, but spineless leaders gave up on us, even when victory was within our grasp. I've heard stories about the Battle of Nera. I can't imagine what it was like to see the horrors you've seen. You pity me? Is that it? <laughs> you haven't earned the right to pity me. Innocent? <clears throat> Nobody is innocent while they allow corrupt leaders to take control. The Free Star Collective has lost its way. The dream that we fought for died a long time ago. Hmm. <laughs> You really want to know? Because you might not like the answer. Last chance, deputy. You can walk away right now and remain blissfully ignorant, thinking you fight for a noble cause. But if you still want the truth, <laughs> I'll shatter that illusion for you right now. Because I can prove it, you'll see. <laughs> we'll see about that. Not long after I started the first, I was contacted by a man who said he represented someone wealthy and influential. <laughs> I refused to work for a shadow client, so we agreed to set up a meeting. Imagine my surprise when Ron Hope showed up. He offered me a lucrative contract to take possession of certain farms throughout Freestar space. Ron Hope? But he's on the Council of Governors. There's no chance he'd be capable of such a thing. Oh, Sam, you poor delusional idiot. The credits were good, but yeah. Getting some payback was the real reward. You think I've lost? Is that it? I haven't lost. <laughs> you go find Ron Hope and tell him what I've told you. Then you can deal out whatever justice you see fit. You do your job. And I get one last piece of vengeance against the council. Damn. I don't want to do this guy's dirty work, but we can't let Hope get away with it, can we? Don't bother him. He should face justice, but I'm not sure he's gonna come quietly. I'm gonna make this easy for you, deputy. I'm gonna die the way I lived. Weapon in hand, no compromise, no fear. But first, here, take this. Use it to cut out the weakness rotting at the heart of the Freestar Collective. When the next war comes, <laughs> and it will come, the Collective needs to be strong. Now my unit's waiting for me, and I'm gonna report for duty one last time. Come on, Goodbye, dude, make deputy. Me
Sure, just keep well, grabbing everything. Wrap up this episode. I'm gonna go ahead and head on back to the keyless, back to the ship, offload some stuff. And we'll head over to Hope Town and pick up there in the next episode. In the meantime, I'm Ramblin' Rusty Young. Have a good night and don't forget to stop and smell the roses.